I had to step back and I, I asked a couple of my friends, I'm just saying, are you seeing this? Are you feeling this? Because it was so strange. And we just, song after song after song. September 15 was just, uh, to me, a normal Vespers. It was at the end tail of an Empower You workshops. Uh, these workshops were specific for um, high schoolers and also our collegiate students uh, to equip them for ministry. We were planning on doing, I think, four songs, and then the speaker was going to speak, the altar call was going to happen, and then we were going to do, I think, a final song, and that was going to be the end. Pastor Kalanji is like, hey, at the end, we want to do like an altar call, and uh, I'd like you to be a part of that. My altar call was for those that either wanted to give their life to Jesus for the first time or recommit their lives to God. And I basically just shared how I did that recently and God completely just changed my life and transformed me. I didn't really think anybody was gonna come up to the front, but I just see a bunch of people coming up and then pretty much the whole stage filled up. I thought the night was done. Now, mind you, Vespers starts at 7.30. By the 8.30 mark, we were winding down, and I was about to just pray and have everybody go to the, to the dorm. But we kept singing. So that evening, I had plans to go longboarding with my friends. As I was sitting in the pew, I get a text from my friends, and they're like, uh, are you ready to go? And I texted back, no, sorry, the program's running over and I don't want to leave. So once we hit the 9.30 marker, I, I started looking at the audience just to make sure that they were okay and they knew that it was okay to leave. And the coolest thing for me as a, a programmer, as, as, as a leader here on campus was they stayed because they wanted to be there. And so I, I didn't feel like the program was being hijacked. I felt the program was in the right hands. It really felt like it was the Holy Spirit that was leading that evening. 15 minutes turned into 30, turned into probably close to an hour, and I just wanted to stay. I could tell like something special was happening and I was really enjoying it. It was more than just like a one-time thing and like more than just a feeling. People really truly developing a relationship with the Lord for the first time, having continued encounters with Him and Him working in their lives and testimony after testimony, Him transforming their lives. I think that kind of speaks volume to kind of what the Lord did that night. A few students from Maplewood Academy said that after that experience at Union and our workshops, they started their own worship team at Maplewood, which I thought was so beautiful and just brought me to tears because it was just, it's just amazing to see how God works. The best way to describe uh, this family worship was just absolutely magical. Pockets of individuals started to pray and other individuals started to repent, and other individuals uh, came up to different pastors and myself and said, hey, I want to be rebaptized." One of those beautiful souls is standing next to me. And so Haley, because of your decision to have Jesus Christ as your personal savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father who loves you, in the name of the Son who died for you, and in the name of the Holy Spirit who now lives inside of you, the same Holy Spirit that brought Jesus back from the dead now will bring life into you. Amen. This is why we do what we do here at New College. We give students, faculty, and staff the environment and the opportunities to encounter Jesus. And when they encounter Jesus, their lives are never the same.